Hi, so during uh, our previous lectures, we covered linear regression. So now it's time to move to a different topic now. Uh, so first we are going to cover uh, random walks and then we will cover ARIMA, which is uh, 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 random walks. So R, uh, autoregressive uh, variables with moving averages. That's what is called ARIMA. So, um, Yes, so let's start by uh, random walks. They are very important, specific, especially because we can cover the efficient market hypothesis with uh, uh, using random walks. So uh, please uh, look at the supplementary um, article that I have uh, uploaded uh, for week 17. Uh, it's on the slides and other learning materials folder, and you will be able to see there uh, how you can test the random walk hypothesis, obviously that is very important because it's letting you know that uh, there is not a point to, to invest in certain market because um, the possibilities of going up or going down are the same. So, but let's discuss this uh, that later and uh, then uh, let's go to my full stop. So here uh, we have in the topic of evaluating predictability, uh, that is the topic that we will cover today. So um, the first thing that we need to get to know is to uh, whether a forecasting effort is useful or not. Shall we go beyond naive forecast? I recall that naive forecast is using uh, the observations of the same variable in the previous uh, time, yes. So that is very straightforward. We covered an example of naive forecast before, and now we are going to expand a little bit on that. So th that is the main idea of a naive forecast. So we have a very good example, especially this is important for the uh, ones, the students who are um, explaining this topic of Standard and Poor's. So they will, and the FTSE or, 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 or any other stock, uh, they look to uh, have a, a random walk so we are going to speak a little bit about that. So here you have on this slide the Standard & Poor's F500, uh, which is the last 15 years. The data was downloaded uh, from uh, Yahoo, Finance Yahoo, the, the link is in there. And these monthly values are showing you the uh, performance of the Standard & Poor's. Uh, here you have the 2000 and uh, uh, like, uh, fall in the stock exchange, the bubble.com uh, problem. Um, so yes, so very interesting. The goal is to forecast September 2003 in order to get to know if we have, uh, if this series is predictable or not. So we we'll start then with a random walk. A random walk, the most simple random walk is an AR, autoregressive one, which means that we are going to use the variable in time t minus one. This is an AR1, yes? The, the observation, so if this is uh, uh, the standard amplitude in time t, this is the standard amplitude in time t minus one, so the previous observation, right? This one is the error and this one is the intercept. So this is a drift parameter if you want, and, and uh, um, this uh, is error also has some standard uh, uh, deviation or, vola or volatility. So this uh, error is going to like hold this information then. In a random walk, the changes from one period to the next uh, are random. Um, a random walk uh, can be uh, very easily explained by the walk that a person that is drunk uh, like do when he's uh, walking drunk on the street, so you know more or less where he is going, yes, but obviously he will take like the long way, like going from from a, a, a place to place and is not going just in a straight line home, right? So that is a random walk. So uh, does the series then behave like a random walk? Uh, the option one test, test the hypothesis of beta equal one, and uh, the option two is uh, we have here um, a different uh, uh, series 
and uh, we difference make di like differencing with the with the series, and we try to to test the the whether we have a, this a series that behave like a random walk. So in general, if original series is a random walk, then differentiated series behave like a random series, but its mean can can be non-zero. So the question for a differentiated series is this one, yes? G, uh, uh, in this case, a standard and poor's in time t minus standard and poor's in time t minus one equals uh, the parameter a plus e, the errors, yes? So la, the, the moral of this is that if the differentiated uh, series is random, uh, we will need to check for the autocorrelations in order to get to know if we have this uh, 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 random series, yes? So um, when uh, testing for this, this hypothesis of beta being equal to one, that means that actual series have a very strong random walk, yes? Meaning that, yes, it's unpredictable, the future can be positive or negative. So uh, here we have an example, yes, uh, of a with the standard and poor's. We look at the 100, at the last 100 months of uh, the the standard and poor's, um, the uh, with an R coefficient which is uh, very close to one. So we compute the difference at series and then the time series, the uh, the ACF. We already covered this during the previous uh, lecture. So the ACF plot is showing us actually like a very high correlation here actually in this uh, period, yes? You remember that we had the same, exactly the same uh, uh, um, series before, yes? So this one is showing us that these lags actually do not have a, a strong correlation with the future, yes? So, um, so we are going then to est estimate the drift and the volatility. Uh, we use the series. Um, the question will be how can we estimate the drift A and how can we estimate the volatility uh, sigma? So we compute this for the standard and poor series, right? Um, we have a that uh, for the for the casting with a random walk uh, is uh, just by using the um, the observation in time t and then the forecast will be in time t plus one and this is again the drift so um, the two step ahead forecast is going to be t plus two and here t plus one and in general we can denote this by f t plus k and this one f uh, y t and this one will, will be this k will be uh, multiplied by the drift parameter so if the drift parameter is zero, then the k step ahead for the cast is, yes, this one, ft plus k equals yt for all k. Yes. So um, what are the economic implications of the random walk? This is the efficient market hypothesis. So at any given time, the security price fully reflects all available information, uh, all the previous information, and also all the information of that the people is expecting from the future or investors. So buying and selling securities in an attempt to outperform the market will effectively be a game of change rather than a skill. Meaning that if you are trading with the standard and pools, you have the same probability of the stock going up or going down so really, it is going to be more like a game of chance, yes, rather than getting to know very well that. So, yes, so we have for this a theory, for this exercise, that surely the Standard & Poor's and the FTSE 100 are random walks. So therefore, the, the, um, these uh, equations work for the Standard & Poor's. And uh, what we want to know as well if, uh, is if this random walk operates as well in the short run. 
So probably in the short run, this uh, efficient market hypothesis will not hold, and therefore we will be uh, uh, um, probably encouraged to uh, invest. So I think everything uh, about the efficient market hypothesis probably, uh, like in at a good extent, is whether to invest or not. So if you have a random walk, probably you will say I step out from this market. It's a random walk, so it can go either way. So, but if, if in the short run you can uh, see differences in the random work, probably you will decide to actually invest in that market. So you can research more about stocks and random works. There is a, a, a Wikipedia a share price. So uh, here you have a, a very good example. They say, uh, for instance, that empirical studies have demonstrated that Prices do not completely follow the random walk for the standard and poor. Low serial correlations around, around 0 0.05 exist in the short term uh, and uh, slightly stronger correlations in the long term. So I believe that the, the uh, uh, lower the correlation, the, uh, the lower the short the period, you will get less, less uh, random walks in investment, especially in the standard and poor's and the foods. So their strength and, and, and sign depend on the variety of factors. Um, and, um, and, and that's it. So generally, transaction costs and bid and ask spreads make it impossible to earn excess returns. So during my next video, we are doing, going then, then to cover R, ARIMA and R models. R models in part, we already covered them at talking about night forecast. Usually, we have many different types of R processes. That means that it's not just about lag one. It can be lag two, lag three, lag four. That happens when we have series that relies a lot on previous observations. Okay, guys, I will see you in my next video.